Hey, I'm back for session number two of our conversation around pharmacogenomics. Last Friday, we talked about CYP1A2 and metabolism of caffeine. So if you've stumbled upon this, think it's interesting, uh, go back and check out Friday's video as well. If you watched Friday's video and you're following along, thank you very much. Today, we're gonna to talk about a different enzyme called CYP2D6. Um, it has some more serious implications, it can be argued. Um, and I'm gonna explain this this enzyme to you using a, a short case study. So we have a 27 year old female. She had her first child uh, via C-section and she's discharged from the hospital with Tylenol 3. So she's got acetaminophen, uh, which is Tylenol, and then the number three component is codeine. One to two tablets every four to six hours as needed. A few days later, she sees an issue. Um, she takes her newborn to the pediatrician because they have labor breathing and they have, they've had very few bowel movements. And she notices um, with herself that she's itchy and she's drowsy. So she calls her pharmacist. The pharmacist picks up on the, on the fact that there's a possibility she's converting a lot of that codeine into morphine. Now, what does morphine have to do with her situation? Codeine is what we consider to be a prodrug. Um, itself, it's about 10 times weaker than morphine, but about 10% of codeine gets converted into morphine and plays a, a large role in its pain relieving activity. She gets pharmacogenomic screening done. Turns out she's an ultra rapid metabolizer for CYP2D6, what we're talking about today. What's that, what that means is she's converting a lot of codeine into morphine. Um, in this situation, she has her newborn at home, she's breastfeeding, she's passing along a lot of that morphine to this newborn. So thankfully in her case, you know they were able to pin down what the issue was. She was able to change to a safer med and, and everything's good from there. Um, so I'll go back and look at my report and what does my report say for CYP2D6? Well, I'm an intermediate metabolizer. Extensive is considered normal, so intermediate is uh, you know less than normal. So in my situation, if I were given codeine or tramadol or, or some other pain meds, I'm not going to convert it into those <clears throat> active compounds as efficiently. So someone with a, a status as like mine, um, you know, sometimes it requires a higher strength or you just need to approach it with a different drug altogether. So hope that um, gave you some insight into another enzyme. So far we've covered 1A2, CYP1A2 and uh, CYP2D6. So I'm gonna continue these sessions with uh, a couple more examples just to kind of uh, paint the picture of what pharmacogenomics can do. Again, once you have this report, it's yours for life. It's a tool that you can, you can keep with you and show to all your um, healthcare team and uh, you know, keep it by your side. So we'll be back with another video soon. Thanks again for listening.